Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations and today is Friday! It is Friday, September 27th. I hope everyone is having a good day. And I've got a yarn haul, my Hobie yarn came, and I have one make. It has absolutely nothing to do with what was on my list. Go figure. So, <laughs> you know... I was just sitting down. I was watching Star Wars, actually. We were watching New Hope, then Empire Strikes Back. And I was just like, I wanted to make something really quick. It had been in my head for a minute. I had it written down and I thought I'm gonna make it. So it's just one thing, but then I'm gonna tell you what colors I, I'm gonna be making of this item. So before I get started, I'd like to say hi to all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming over to my channel and hitting that like and subscribe button. That means a lot to me. I have all my social media platform listed in the description box below. So if you wouldn't mind clicking on that and going over and like and favorite some items, especially on my Etsy shop, that would really help me as well. Um, hopefully you've seen something you like and you can make a purchase. If not, that's okay too. And if it's not listed and you see me showing something and you want it in another color, for example, I just made a custom bumblebee for, uh, for Lisa B. Hi, Lisa. With purple wings, purple eyes, and yellow and black. Oh my gosh, it turned out so cute. Uh, it was absolutely adorable. But it's already been packed away because I didn't want anybody to have to wait on anything. When I got the order ready, I will be working on a couple of custom loaf cats as well. And I'm just super excited. Um, and I'm also getting my my market prepping taken care of. I'm getting, you know, I'm just crossing them off. Today will be, um, oh man, what was today? We did bees. Today is not octos. I already did stingrays. So it's either, it's either oxalotls or, um, uh, <coughs> maybe gummy bears. It's one of those. I mean, as long as they're on my list and I make them, I guess it doesn't matter what day because I didn't put, oh, on Monday, I'm only going to make these. But um, I really got to show you this yarn. I I also ordered some toucan yarn, like I said. I only ordered a few because, you know, I have a problem spending <laughs> that much money. I mean, and it's not a lot. It's like $5.60, but I use Parfait Chunky a lot. So it's going to have to really impress me because I love Parfait Chunky Yarn. I love how it works up. I love using it for just about every amigurumi I do. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I can't wait to show you what it is. Now, before I get into all that, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday if today, September 27th, is your birthday. I would also like to wish you a happy anniversary if today is the anniversary of you both. So, yeah. I hope you're having a great day and it's on a Friday. So it's gotta be good. Hope you have some good weekend plans going on. Um, my heart was broken today because Professor McGonagall, AKA Maggie Smith has gone to heaven. Darn it. I really liked her. <laughs> so, um, and you know, you kind of knew it was coming. James Earl Jones, that's why we were watching Star Wars. Uh, I've watched, he's been in so many things though. Uh, I I hope and and you know I hope that people realize this <clears throat> because a lot of people in my household were like oh yeah Darth Vader well yes he did Darth Vader but he did a lot of other things as well so um, just like with you know Maggie Smith she's won I don't know maybe well I know she was nominated several times for an Academy Award and she won a few times maybe three two or three, but, uh, yeah. And her son, I don't know what her second son does, but her, her, what is his name? Well, I know that she has a son that was in the, the world is not enough. I think that's the, the movie with Halle Berry and of course, Pierce Brosnan. So the villain in that movie was her son. So anyway, and he's done some stuff too. He, he was the dad in the updated version of, or the remake or whatever, of uh, Lost in Space. So that's him as well. <clears throat> in 
anyway, <laughs> I guess enough about movie trivia and stuff. Um, anyway, definitely enjoy your birthday and your anniversary today. And like I said, my social media information, the links will be in the description box below. So I have nothing to frog. Um, well, I do. I don't know what this is, but I'm taking it out. So let's do that now. I said I was going to save it. So we got some. So see, this is that Snuggles yarn, right? So you got to be real careful with it. Because sometimes, I, I think, I don't know if this was, but it has a, it has like a hole in there. So, and you can't pull it really tight or it's going to be really bad. So whatever it is, we'll just start all over. We'll add to it. It could have been an octo. I don't know. But anyway, oops, see, and it, just like that, it got a little stuck. So I got to pull it, I gotta pull it and hold on to it. So it's just really tricky as to how to get it out of there. I just have no idea what this was. Um, I need to start maybe, especially when I finish a project, because my head, you guys know how my brain works, right? It like goes a mile a minute. So when I whip something up like this, I might put a piece of paper or a tag or something on it that said, hey, this was going to be a you know, whatever, and then put it on there. That way I don't go, what the heck was this? And why is it still sitting here? Nothing's been happening to it. So I don't know what this was going to be, but we're just going to take it apart. We're frogging it. So we're doing some frogging on finish it or frog it Friday. I don't, I do have a whip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you that too. Because I've got, because I'm like, do I even have a whip to show you that I'm going to finish? Why, well, yes, yes, I do. Let's take care of this first. So anyway, it's been raining all day. I'm so worried about everyone um, in the wake of this, <clears throat> in the way of this, this hurricane, just be safe. A few of you have already reached out and said, yes, we're, you know, we're getting um, some of this hurricane in, in where I live. And um, so, you know, so far we're safe. And I'm like, thank God for that. So I just pray that everybody is okay. So this is going to have to get cut. You see that? That's what happens when you frog it. And this stuff just slides right off. Oh, this one doesn't. That one does. So I'm going to cut this now so that I don't get mad later and go, oh my God. I'm I know I will. So we'll cut that off. Let me make sure I don't have any extra ones. Oh, well, there's one right there, but I think I can hide it. All right, so now we're going to roll it up. This is one of the reasons why I wasn't particularly fond of using this yarn, but it made really cute uh, stingrays, and both of them sold. Actually, I sold three, because the very first one I made, the very first large one, was with the Snuggles yarn, and it was purple. And then I made another purple one, and then I made this teal-colored one, and that was the last one I sold at the last... Uh, the last show that I did. <clears throat> That's been happening a lot, but this weather. I love fall weather, but I feel like I have to use my inhaler more because there's all kinds of stuff flying around and <laughs> the weather's colder. So my body's just got to get used to it. Got to get used to it. Okay, so now we got a ball. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but done deal. Now, this one... <laughs> I forgot all about this. It's a good thing it's for somebody that just lives here and uh, doesn't really need it right away. <clears throat> but I am now, oops. This is the Stephanie Z pattern. And once you get to this part, you're just doing um, chain fives into each loop until you get however many. I don't remember. I think I do like 32 rows or something. Uh, I don't remember, but it's really easy to do. It's a great one. I did 20, so it's nice and thick. And then I did six rows. One, two, three. Yeah, I did six rows. And then I'm just going to work it till it gets long enough and then put them together, sew it up. And I've got four of these, so I definitely have enough. So that's a finish. So we did a frog. We did a finish. And... Oh my gosh, those little fuzzies. <laughs> they, got, they got all over the place. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So um let's let's do the yarn because <clears throat> the last the only item that I made last night, I will show you and I'm gonna make several of them if I have time because it's not on my list. I mean it is, but it isn't. 
uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Okay, so I did order some Christmas and some Halloween Honey Bunny yarn from Hobie. I, as I stated earlier, I was trying to get the orange and the green for Halloween. They sold out. They only had purple left. And that's okay. I'll just use purple. I'll make some purple stuff. And I bought four skeins of that. Now, they were on sale for $5.40. or I didn't come with an invoice or anything. So $5 and some change for the same amount of yardage as my Premier Chunky yarn that I use. And you guys know I really like Premier Chunky yarn, but I also like Adorable, right? Now, the thing with Adorable is you only get 92 yards, $3.49, okay? You can get, so those are all the Adorable. You can get the Velvety Smooth from Hobby Lobby. And this one has 80 yards for, let's see, is this $4.99 as well? For $3.50 when it's, when it's on sale. Okay, so right now I got 100 and, no, 92. And is this the same thing? Velvety Smooth, yeah. So this one's 80 yards as well. I thought that would make a really nice loaf cat. So I can't wait to get that started. Anyway, so right now we're at 80, 92 for $3.50. Well, I can tell you, I can get on to Mary Maxim and order Premier Parfait Chunky for $3.99. Sometimes it goes on sale on Premier. Like this past weekend, it was on sale. But even the sale price, it was cheaper for me to go to Hershner's and get like uh, a pack of three like I did here. When I had that big box from that big, big order, I'm almost done with all that yarn. I've been making so much plushies, you guys. It's crazy. Um, so with that being said, sometimes, just sometimes you want, when you want something that's a little different, even though it's similar and the, the price is a little bit more, it's almost worth it. And now with that being said, I'm going to tell you why I said that because Premier Chunky has 131 yards, $3.99. I can get it at Mary Maxim for $3.99. I've got... This yarn here, it is the Christmas Honey Bunny Candy Yarn from Hobie. And it is 85% polyester, 15% polyamide, 100 grams, 120 meters, which is 131 yards. So it's 131 yards, just like Hobie, or not Hobie, just like Premier. And it's a number, they say it's a number six. So number six, number five, is that what these are saying? These are saying they are da, 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 number five. So it's very comparable. This is one of the colors. You see those? So this says it's a six, but this says it's a five. Now, guys, I really love the, the color of this yarn. So this is why I ordered it, because I can't go on Premier Yarn and get this beautiful, beautiful royal blue with those white specks in it. This is part of their Christmas collection. It's upside down. Okay, now. And I just think that's beautiful. And you know what? I I ordered, um, with the exception of Halloween, I ordered four of the purple and the Halloween. And every other color that I'm going to show you, I ordered two. So I have 262 yards of each one. I plan on making a bunch, because I've got one, one, one um, 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 December, show on December 7th. That's the only one that I have. But the one um, I've got in November, I have one on the 2nd of November and the 9th of November as well. So the 9th of November is a holiday and so is the, the two in November are both holiday ones. But the 8th and the 9th are specific to like, hey, come out and get your Christmas presents. And so, you know, buy for Christmas early and check out all these vendors. And the one on the second is all the vendor fees so that everyone that became a vendor and it's full, which is wonderful. But all the proceeds went to help the New Hope um, Animal Shelter. So that's why I do that one every year. I mean, I may not have animals anymore. All of my babies are in, all my fur babies are in heaven. But just like with children and homeless and everybody else that we help, I think that pets really 
need to be helped as well because they get abused, they get abandoned. Um, it's just horrible. So I want to make uh, the little, not with this yarn, but they have um, dog paw coasters and they're so cute. And of course I'm going to make some loaf cats and I'm hoping I have enough time to make the the loaf dog or the dog so the same girl Anna Anna Annie Annie Caraway Art also has a pattern for dogs. There's like several. It's like 50 50 plus pages because she shows you how to make so many different variations of dogs. It's just awesome. It was well worth the money, let me tell you. But I just haven't had time to dive into it yet. I'm I'm hoping that that I will eventually. But this yarn looks, I mean, you know, it looks really nice. And I've used regular Honey Bunny yarn several times for several projects. Now, I didn't like the Honey Bunny yarn that I used when I first started because I thought it shed too much and it pulls like that Snuggles yarn. You can see the string. That that kind of mm, got me a little, but that's pretty. So wait till I show you these colors. <clears throat> I'm really hoping that these work up well because like I said... So just look at these colors. Think of octos. Think of um, axolotls. Think of squids. Uh, let's see. Axolotls, squids. What else did I say I was going to make with these? Octos, axolotls, squids. Um, eh, that could be it. Maybe, oh, I was going to say ice cream cone, but I don't know. I just know that I really like it. And that's a, that's a pretty color. So I got two of those in the blue. And all they do is give you a number. Let me see. This, maybe maybe it's different because it's with love from Santa. That's cute. Er, do, 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 do. It is color number four. Color number zero four. Okay? So that's the blue one. Then I got the opposite. I got two of the white with the blue, because like I said, if I'm going to make axolotls, I'm going to do a plain color and then the blue with the gills and then the blue with the white for the gills. So I got to make at least, you know, an opposite. I, and this color is number three. So I've got the white one. See, they're going to look so good together. Look at that. I just love it. So that's going to look really cool. And then these two are my favorite. Um, and I got... Uh, someone, oh my gosh, guys, I don't know who it was. I want to say it's Joanne. Someone sent me a Christmas tree plush pattern. It was like $2.99. I got the smaller version because the bigger ones are big. The smaller one's like seven inches, which is what most of my amigurumi is anyway, size wise or smaller. Some are a little big, but that's like the average. And, uh, I cannot wait to make this Christmas tree. Let me show you Use it. And I ordered two of these. And this is color number two. And it's going to be a Christmas tree. I've got the brown that they're looking for, and then the Christmas tree and the yellow part for the star. You ready? Look at that green. Look at that green. It's so pretty. Man, look at that. I love it. And then this one is number one. So one, two, three, and four. <laughs> That's funny. Look at the red one. Oh, so I'm going to make Christmas trees with this. And, um, if I really like it, uh, man, I've got a lot of crocheting to do this weekend, you guys, because next weekend is my show. Uh, so <laughs> with that being said, I really want to use some of this up, but it's not Christmas time yet. It's going to have to wait. I got to stay on track. I got to stay on track. No matter how much I want to use this yarn right now, I have to stay on track. But look at that. That's awesome. So the red is number one and the green is number two in the colorway. But I think they only show those four. I tried to get the only co the colors that they had that was in their Christmas collection. And I cannot wait to make the Christmas tree. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Now, this one, I really was trying to get the green and um, the orange, but I'm very happy with the purple. Uh, same, oops, same specs. It's 131 yards. The purple is color number two in the Halloween series. 
Don't get that confused with the Christmas one. The Halloween series, number two, it's gorgeous. Look at that. And yeah, I got four. I've got two right here and the other ones are right here and right here. So I thought if I can't get the other colors, I'm going to have a lot of Halloween with purple. And remember, I also want to put some in some little uh, crocheted items, one item in the mystery bags that I'm doing. So that would be good. I don't want, they're not going to all be <clears throat> purple. I'm going to use other colors, but that's, that is just so great. And it, it feels nice and soft and squishy. So that is my Hobie yarn haul. Now, are you ready to see what I made? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so let me let me explain this to you. Um, the item is nothing new, but it's the colors. So my brain was like, okay, I'm doing this Halloween thing, and I've got to make these anyway, so why don't I just make some Halloween colored? And I thought, hey, that's not a bad idea. And I'm using Posh yarn, so they're not going to be really big. I'm using an H hook. The, the size of these, perfect. So are you ready? And I found some eyes, and I hope you're able to see it. So this is using black posh yarn and glowworm posh yarn to make a loaf cat. Um, I, and I found, see, and I had the eyes. I thought he was really cute. I was just working him up, and as I was working him up, I thought, oh, man. I really like that. I feel like something's on me. I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. I mean, there isn't anything. It was yarn, but so something was on me, but not a bug. Um, anyway, I made this little guy. He has just made me so happy. And now I've got, whoops, I'm going to make um, Cameron tell my Cameron and Jordan are here. Surprise, right? <laughs> I picked, I just picked them up. It was half day for me. So I picked them up, um, did some shopping, and then now we're home. So, oh, and of course I got to make, I'm getting ready to make Rotel Dip too. That boy is so spoiled. Anyway, I found the eyes. I have some eyes with the little colors, but then I also have some acrylic markers. So um, I'm hoping that I can match the eyes with the yarn without having to color them. But if I can't, it's okay. We're going to, we're going to fix it. So I've got in the posh yarn, I've got that, um, that hot pink one, the strawberry something or other. And I've got the light purple and I have, let's see. I thought, I thought that the, the, um, green one, a green cat with, with black. And then the, Neon pink with black would look really good. <clears throat> the purple and black would look Halloweenish, and orange. Um, who was that that sent me? I think Joanne. Joanne or Marie? No, it was Joanne. I think Joanne sent me the link to Posh Yarn. They actually had one that I ordered. I'm hoping I get it because this will this will be if I don't get it, it'll be the second time that they said they have it in stock. I've ordered it, and then they were like, oh, sorry, we have to refund your money. I'm not happy about that. So if I get it, it was tangerine, I think it's called. I don't know. It was not the carrot top. It was different. The other ones were not in stock, but they had an orange one there, so I was, like, super excited because I think orange and black cat would look really cute as well. And then I'll have, like, some regular ones. I've already taken out my yarn. <clears throat> I've had requests to make some more cat, some more tweed cats as well. So I might as well just sit him right there because he's going to get used. So when it's time for me to do loaf kits or loaf cats, <laughs> um, I am going to make some more of these. This took, uh, I don't know. Well, it takes less than, an hour, less than an hour to do because I've been making so many of them. So H hook, posh yarn, and just make it whatever color you want. I thought the green looked good. And so that's what I did. I like it. I think he's a little a little more on the side than he needs to be. But anyway, and then green eyes. See there? He's got green eyes, his nose, and his ears. 
Something super cute. Oh, hold on. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love my love kitty. Let me know what you think. And uh, the yarn. If you guys have tried the Honey Bunny Christmas yarn, because, uh, you, you know, you can buy it now. Have you done anything with it if you purchased it? And the Halloween Honey Bunny yarn. So when it comes back in stock, even if it's after Halloween, I'm definitely going to buy some because uh, I do like the colors. I'm hoping it works up well. It's got that extra string going through it with the little color pom-pom things. But to me, it's very comparable to Parfait Chunky. So this is the Parfait Chunky. Okay. So this one's just a little, it's just not wound as tight as this one. But they're both 133 yards, $3.99. Oh, I think the pom-pom one's $5.99. $5.99 for this one and $5.60 for this one on sale. If this was not on sale, it would be $10. So, yeah. This is what I use to make my snow or ice cream cones. And this is what I'm going to do to make um, just Halloween plushies or plushies with that color. So, anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you like my little loaf cat. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much, and Jordan says hi. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> she does. She's like, I'm not going to bother you. I go, you're not bothering anyone. They don't mind at all. So, <laughs> yeah, you guys have a good rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye for now.